Hi everyone, welcome to the series solving SQL interview questions. In this video, we'll be solving an SQL interview question asked at LinkedIn. The problem that we are solving today is salaries differences. Write a query that calculates the difference between the highest salaries found in the marketing and engineering departments. Output just the absolute difference in salaries and the tables that are given to us are DB employee and DB department. According to our approach, the first step of solving the SQL question is understanding the inputs and the outputs. For that, I quickly just want to have a look at all the columns that are present in these two tables so that I'll know what inputs I have to give to the table to get the salaries difference output. As you can see, it contains ID, first name, last name, salary. So since they asked us to calculate the highest difference between the salaries, I'm going to use the salary column as my input and there's department ID. And in the DB department table, I have ID and the department. I believe this ID is similar to the department ID present in the employees table. And as they mentioned in the question, they want specifically for marketing and engineering departments. Department is going to be my other input. What is going to be my output? Output just the absolute difference in salaries. So these are my inputs and the outputs. Now the second step of our approach is articulating a solution verbally to the interviewer. As we've discussed that the columns that we'll be using are salary and the department. And what they've asked us to calculate is the highest difference of the salaries between the departments, marketing and engineering. So when they're saying highest, you probably are expected to use the aggregation function max in the each department and calculate the difference between them. So my approach is probably going to be first thing I'll perform a join between the DB employee and DB department so that I can get the department name. And the first thing I'll do is write a select statement, which will get me the maximum salary from the department marketing. And I'll write another select statement, which will get me the maximum salary from the department engineering. And then I'll calculate the difference between this select statement and the other select statement, get the absolute difference. And that's what they're looking for. There's also another way that you can approach this problem without having to use two select statements. And that is by using a self join with the help of table aliases. Now, right now we are performing a join of DB employee with DB department so that we can get the department name, right? What if we know what is the department ID of the department names, marketing and engineering, we can simply just use this department ID within this table, calculate the maximum salary of that particular department and minus it with the maximum salary of the other department by performing a self join. Now, the third step of our approach is constructing the query step by step. And the first part of our query construction is calculating the maximum salary for the departments, marketing and engineering. So for that, I'm just going to say select max of salary from DB employee join with DB department on DB employee dot department ID is equal to db department dot id and i'm going to give the where clause for the department so that i'll get that specific department maximum salary where db department is equal okay so i think i should say db department dot department is equal to marketing so let me just execute this and as you can see, I now have got the maximum salary for the department marketing. Similarly, I'll also be calculating the maximum salary of the department engineering, and then I'll get the absolute difference between these two select statements. So for that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this entire statement in one bracket, and I'm going to do minus, and I'm going to copy paste the same syntax here because it's almost the same thing except for the marketing name. Instead, I'm going to say engineering. So these are the two st select statements and I'm going to perform absolute difference between these select statements so that I will get the difference between the highest salaries of the departments. So I'm going to say select 
absolute difference of these and I'm going to give this an alias name as salary tiff and then I'm going to execute this as you can see we now got the absolute highest salary difference of the departments marketing and engineering so this is one way of our approach as I've discussed there's another way of approaching the same problem which is by using a self join first let me just see what are the department IDs for the department names marketing and engineering so I am just simply going to run this and as you can see engineering is having the department ID 1 and marketing is having the department ID 4 so using these numbers in the department ID column of the DB employee I will perform a self join to calculate the highest difference so for that I am going to say select max of a dot salary minus max of b dot salary and I'm going to give this as salary difference from db employee a and I'm performing the self join here db employee b using table aliases where a dot department id which is equal to 1 and b dot department id is equal to 4 1 is for engineering and 4 is for marketing and i am calculating the maximum salary of the engineering and maximum salary of the marketing and i'm performing the difference and since they said they want the absolute difference i'm going to say absolute of this and then run the score and as you can see we got the same answers so yeah that is how you approach these kind of sql interview questions thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next time bye